Hello, everyone. Um, it is Tuesday night at seven o'clock, and I would say the majority of time since December. I've gone live on a Wednesday night, either at five o'clock, six o'clock, or seven o'clock, depending on the time zone of the person, for the MYBC Virtual Bookstore Author Series. It's where I bring authors that have written books, or I bring the authors to books that I've read, or we just talk about what it takes to write a book. And tonight, I'm, I'm super excited to have Matt join me tonight. Hi, Matt. How are you? Where are you right Hello. now? Well, as you can see, I'm in my car, where I spend a lot of my days, actually, and nights. Um, and I'm drive I'm on the ferry, not driving as I talk. Uh, awesome. And, uh, and I'm going over to Vancouver Island for some mushroom foraging. And that's the beginning of how this story started. Um, it's got to be about a month ago now. I was at the Ladner Farmers Market, the Ladner, no, what's it called? The Ladner Village Farmers Market. Yep. And um, it's the first time, and I'm embarrassed to say it, I've lived in uh, the BC, well, the Lower Mainland area since 1976. That it was the first time, Matt, that I'd ever been to the market, and I was invited by some friends of mine to uh, tag along, and they know how much a girl loves small businesses and love a good farmer's market, and was walking around, and I was attracted to your booth because your mushrooms. Um, so let's go on that story, first of all, about what you do for a living, and then we'll get into how I discovered a book within where you are. All right. Um, so just a little snippet of what I do here. Yes, absolutely. It's fascinating. Yeah. OK, well, um, I basically uh, it's like the last remaining industry resembling the gold rush um, because there are mushrooms out there and they they come up seasonally and uh, they're pretty valuable uh, if you can find them and transport them safely back to civilization for uh, chefs and, and, and people to cook with and, and enjoy them in meals and, uh, and get the nutrients from them. Um, so it's kind of a, a big game of hide and seek or scavenging uh, all around the woods and the mountains, uh, very seasonal. You have to go different places, different times of year. There's a lot of mapping, a lot of weather um, monitoring and uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of luck. So how did you fall in, fall into, or this became your uh, chosen career, Matt? I started doing it accidentally as a hobby. Uh, just I, I liked walking and, and hiking, and I would notice these mushrooms on the trees, and it struck my curiosity. And um, so I started to research them a little bit. And uh, once I became confident in identifying them, I ate them. and. I was oyster mushrooms, they were delicious. Uh, I started learning about more varieties. Then uh, it just so happened my business or my, uh, my company I worked for, it was uh, H. Braun Electrical. I was an electrician, uh, mm -hmm. that, that closed down. And so I could either go look for another electrical job or just pick some mushrooms and start <laughs> going to farmer's markets and knocking on chef's doors. So what was the mushroom that I bought from you? Because I was, so excited to um, to get mushrooms. I went to culinary school. I don't know if I told you when I met you there. I went to culinary school back in 1983, 84. And when I saw your mushrooms and the, the name of your company again is? Uh, it's called Your Wildest Foods. That piqued my interest um, just as much. And I was like, wow, I haven't seen that, that mushroom and that fresh. Um, in such a long time. So what was the mushroom I bought from you again? Oh, man, was that Morel's that you were there for? Or was it Chantrell's? I can't Chantrell's. remember. Chantrell's. Chantrell's. A little bit meatier, a little bit meatier mushroom. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I made the most spectacular brown butter pasta, brown butter mushroom with rosemary pasta. Very simple, simple, simple um dish and it was just absolutely delicious so what are some of your no, here's a funny question because there's sometimes people do what they do but they don't like the thing that they're finding so do you like mushrooms i do 
Yeah, okay. I meet a lot of people who who pick mushrooms and hate them, and I'm just like, that's like that's like a one third of the magic in this. Like, like seeing these beautiful mushrooms and you kind of salivate a little. You're like, oh, this is gonna be delicious, and, uh, and then you share that with someone else and maybe they enjoy it, but you kind of like vicariously enjoy it, um, or or you do cook some up yourself. But uh, I mean, it's I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess I have mixed opinions on that, but best of all, if you can fully appreciate the whole aspect of what you do. Absolutely. So now let's introduce on why you're here, because this is the MYBC Virtual Bookstore Author Series. So while I was at your booth, there was a book laying on your, um, you know, by where your mushrooms were. And I picked it up and I had an assumption, and this was a good lesson for myself, um, going, oh my gosh, you wrote a book about mushrooms, of course, thinking that that's what you would do. And you corrected me quite quickly. And I would love for you to go into what your book is all about. Why? the name it's a very interesting being a book author i just had a, a little blip of, uh, uh, of bad reception here the question was uh was why i why i have done this thing and what why i chose the book uh, title yeah the book title right? and what's the book about what uh, the book and the journey about writing the book okay all right uh um, yeah, so the title is A Can of Worms, um, and, and on the, on the cover, I mean, I don't blame you for the assumption on the, I've got a copy of it here. There's worms. It yes. looks pretty, uh, like there's a plate and it looks, it looks food related. It looked um, like it was a cookbook and I was so excited because I love me some cookbooks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, all the all the times that I've had someone ask uh, about my cookbook when they come to the market stall, and I have to nope, it's just uh, just stories and poetry. Um, so I I've actually done that longer than I have picked mushrooms. Uh, in fact, mm -hmm. my earlier walks where I discovered mushrooms, I was often out with my little notebook. Um, uh, it would be kind of a, a good Oh, we're losing reception. Okay, we, we lost a little bit of reception uh, a piece of there, something. Matt. Uh, uh, that's good. Being out somewhere is more. Oh, are we getting bad service here? Yeah, we're getting bad service, but you know what? That's okay. Um, so um, you've got the book there, and I would love I love to have the authors read the back of the book. Because that's to me, because they say don't judge a book by its cover, which I totally fell into that particular uh, judgment. I would love for you to read the back of the book and tell us what it's all about. Oh, sure. All right. Um, so the back goes This is a book of stories and poems. They are about not knowing how, not going places, and not remembering a very important thing. They are about spaghetti, shoes that might be alive, and stealing frying pans. Hopefully they will not be the best stories and poems that you have ever read, for that may mean that you have cared to read few books. And hopefully you are not the best person that has ever read these poems and stories, for that may mean that few have cared to read this book. In this light, it might be just the book for you. It just sounds like a fascinating book an eclectic book a book of thriving in chaos let's uh, let's just say that um so how long did it take you to write the book when did you start and i do recognize the publisher i work with an author who has also um been published through tellwell publishing so how right. long is you know the journey and on um, that first kind of i'm going to write a book and you start yeah, well, there was no there was no first time I'm going to write a book with this one because uh, it's it's a collection of pieces, right? So it it uh, it goes back probably over a decade. Um, uh, 
like I was saying, little, I would take little walks. I would just have a, a thought or an idea and I would jot it down. Um, and so I had four or five of these little black notebooks just kind of full of things that were partially complete, mostly complete, uh, little short stories. Uh, some are like four line poems, some are a couple page poems. Um, so then the real, I'd like to make a book of this process started, I think. It took two winters because I'm always super busy during the summer and fall with mushroom business. Um, so I, I spent two winters, the first just kind of on my own, going through editing, deciding what makes the cut. Um, and then when I had something I felt pretty good about, I uh, approached Tellwell and uh, then kind of in that winter worked through their, uh, their okay. process of actually forming it into a manuscript and um, just all the little fine tuned details uh, that it takes to make it into a, a real thing. And is it a, I, I can't remember, is it a hardcover or soft cover? This is a hardcover. Oh, uh, okay. it, they've listed it online too for soft cover. Uh, I just kind of thought that it, it would make a nicer thing to be a hardcover. Um, so I went with that. So um, I would love for you now to either randomly because the book sounds like it's a bunch of random stories and poems and thoughts to either pick your favorite poem or just randomly open the book and share a story out of there or a, a paragraph from a story or a poem. All right. Um, let's have a look here. As you can tell, okay. Matt, I just, I love and adore creativity. I love and adore when people make that step and it takes pen to paper or pick up a paintbrush or, you know, go on a walk and start, photo you know, taking uh, photographs. It just, it's the fuel to my, uh, to my existence. Yeah, I, yeah, I think that's, that like in in life that kind of thing is just the most uh, uh inspiring to me to just like people doing doing something um doing something different do, doing something like that they love uh one of my favorite musicians is tom waits and mm. <laughs> you can tell he just loves <laughs> he loves the things he he works on um and and it's just special to kind of be around uh someone like that so mm -hmm. i try and kind of make that my model uh, i love that um mm -hmm. just choosing one here and your name you know as a uh, as a i think a kid you, you start that that can of worms as like oh you don't want to open up that can of worms. Um, that that title is fantastic. Oh, no, no, we got to keep that can of worms with the lid on it. So I just I love that name. I just I love that name because it can mean anything. It's like oh, it can mean anything. So this is why I'm I'm really excited to uh, hear something from your book. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean that's that's kind of a running running. Uh... Uh, not such a theme, but a, a running aspect of the book because it's uh, it kind of opens up and starts think. I when I think about things that you know, some of them are uh, uh, really discouraging, or some of them then you know you find hope, um, mm. uh, or some of them are just bizarre. But it's <laughs> uh, it's it's just like kind of a Pandora's box type of feeling, like. We didn't need, you know, none of this was necessary for my day to successfully turn into tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. But get there, and then it like it adds problems, but also potential uh, to learn and to feel like you've gone somewhere. So, you know, those kinds of thoughts are are common in in some of the things that I was kind of writing about. Um, okay. Here's one that that. Uh, it, it somewhat relates to uh, to being out um, 
mushroom foraging, uh, not directly, but it's called Somewhere to be Small. Hmm. So here we go. And it's a poem. Uh, Earth that won't be torn and leveled. Trees who won't be tumbled down. By iron teeth and wheezing diesel. Sanctuary here. Alpine virgin waters not to know the clamor of propeller. Trout leap out, great birds dive in, towering sky, the breath of wind, and sanctuary here. The air unsettled, bending branches, threatens every upright thing, and high above crawl blazing forks across gray underbellies, batteries of summer's sky, of massive discharge, fearsome majesty, and well prepared to knock you from your feet should you strut unabashed audacious you O oh lightning rod a good reminder in the sky today you are no pinnacle take cover and take heed for here at last relief learn how you needn't be oh wow wow i love prose and poetry i just it's to me the story gets told so succinctly and so um for lack of a word, quickly quickly and I, and I um got into poetry honestly at a, a really good English teacher and Dylan Thomas is one of my favorite um, po um poets from a long time ago and mm. I just I love how you can read that and immediately <laughs> the imagery is the imagery and the, the story is very succinct and um very fast as well so in advent of your your time there and you're you're sitting there on the ferry is who do you think this book would make a good gift for who needs to have this book in their right. hand um, uh definitely i guess uh ponderers um mm. people who um like like i was saying sort of about uh about the tom waits thing like um i i believe that kind of what we can contribute is to each other and uh, is is putting out ideas and kind of working on them and um, and then someone else can take them and and be inspired in a way and then do something and then someone else can and it'll kind of go around and uh, so people who who find value in that process I guess um, in being inspired and inspiring um, I would say, hopefully, would, uh, would be interested a, in this sort of thing. That, that's, uh, a, that's a good possibility. Okay. Do you have another person in mind that um, um, has, say, given you feedback on the book, um, saying I, it's something that I've never thought or never read before or experienced before? Um, yeah, I had a guy at the, uh, at the White Rock Farmer's Market who got it. Uh, who said he really enjoyed it? Um, he said it reminded him of, of Richard Brodigan, who I have not yet read. I promised him that I would. And then uh, I have like a, a pile of books to read, and I'm working through them, but it also grows. So, as as do you, do mine. So, uh, is the book dedicated to anybody? Oh. Uh, we lost you just for a second. So my I don't know question... what classification to put him. People who like quirky humor. Okay. Oh, we might have lost Matt, and I'm not sure if it's. Oh, there you're back. You're back. Okay, good. I agree now again. Yeah. Okay. So um, let's. I have two more questions as we wrap this up. Number one, what is? We'll loop back to what you do for a profession. What is one mushroom when you find find it you are just like a little kid jumping up and down can you hear me matt matt are you there oh we might have lost matt matt are you there i know my internet is okay on my side we might he's on uh, a yes mostly it let me see if I can improve mine here. Oh, I think there. I got you. Okay, gonna... you're, you're better now. 
I'm leaning as close to the edge of the ferry as I can. Okay, don't go here. overboard. Okay, so yeah. two, two questions to wrap up. Number one was, when you find a certain mushroom, what is that certain mushroom that makes you jump up and down like a little kid that you're so excited you found it? Uh, I would say maybe the blue chanterelle. Okay. It's a, uh, it's a rare one. It grows in a cluster. Um, and it's just, uh, it's kind of dark and, and mysterious looking with kind of like a, a blue black sheen. Um, or almost like a, a bouquet of alien world flowers. Mm, edible too. <laughs> and, and, and supposedly medicinal. Ooh, much, yeah, there's a whole thing about mushrooms. Okay, next question. Is there another book coming from you? Are you feeling to put pen to paper or fingers to keyboard again? Yeah, I, I mean, I always write, so I, got stuff that's just kind of building up again um what i've been working on more lately is uh so i'll drive i'll be on long drives and uh i'll, I'll get kind of little song ideas so lyrics more um and i'll record them on my my voice memo thing on my phone and uh so those i i've got about a dozen that i'd really like to work uh work on further with some instrumentation and uh, and, and make something musical. Perfect. I look forward to that. I'm, I'm sure they're going to be very interesting and quirky songs. So thank you so much, Matt, for agreeing to, um, to be on my virtual BC, MYBC virtual bookstore authors. I'll make sure because you're on the road, you did send me the two different links to Amazon. Your book is available. And I think for my people that are in the United States, it's on Barnes and Noble as well. You sent me those two links. So I'll make sure in the comments yep. that um, people have those links. So if they want to get your book, not if, when they want to get uh, your book, it's uh, readily available for them. And I'll leave it to you for one last, what does it mean to be an author, Matt? Oh, you know, I think, it means to just be a person uh, who's sharing something because I think there's a trap. I've thought about this actually. <laughs> I thought of it more in context of music, but uh, you get someone and they, they like the idea of being that thing. And so, and they get caught up in it too much, I think, mm -hmm. and forget that they're primarily a person. And then once you kind of, shift your focus and efforts and attention away from from being a, a human being to being an author or especially like um seeking a prestigious status or something i think you cut off your your lifeline and it, it'll really like you see it happen so many times with bands that make a great first couple of albums and then it's just like like pop fluff after that or something right, right like right uh, and so I think I think being a person uh, and just finding ways to be inspired and then taking the time and work that it requires to take that inspiration because it is then time and work for sure mm -hmm. uh, to kind of process that into into something shareable. But yeah, that's what I'd say about that. Perfect. That's 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 excellent. So once again, thank you so much, Matt. Hey guys, um, um, grab a book. I'm going to grab one and get on the big purple couch. It's kind of rainy here on the west coast of Canada. Yay, we need rain. And I and I think that helps the mushroom business as well. A nice wet forest floor. Grab a cup of tea or hot chocolate. Snuggle in, read a book. Because a book will take you places that your feet can never take you. To lands, to ideas, to thoughts. Never experienced before. So thank you, everybody. Uh, tune in next Friday, or sorry, next Tuesday is I have another author that I met, Matt, at the Langley Farmer, or sorry, at the Ladner Market. And this author wrote a children's book. So I'm excited oh, nice. to showcase her um, next Tuesday night. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Bye, Matt. Happy foraging. Bye. Thank you.